makes very few errors. Hasn't been scored upon, nope. yep. was not even scored upon today. Yep. And um, he makes almost no errors. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's a very good point. But, you know, I would have just seen the Oliveira where Canuto handled him, you know, now it's in a single. You see the, the gripping that he has on these guys. He just gets the grips and goes, and he doesn't stop moving until something happens. Now, Lepre had a nice single leg attempt there. But what's been really impressive is just his, the way he is out gripping these guys. Like, cross, cross lapel there, cross the. And let's just see how Lepre handles his, the grips that he likes. He, he, he oftentimes like that, Coach Gari. And Lepre really just been a model of consistency over the last couple yeah. Of years. Yeah, absolutely. You look up knee cut in the dictionary and his face is in there. <laughs> Perfect knee cut. Yeah. And think about the, he's passed the guards of the who's who of the mm -hmm. lightweight division. Yep. Canuto having no shortage of names he had to take out on his way here. Vitor Oliveira, Michael Lange. Yeah. He certainly earned his spot here in the finals today. Mm -hmm. Lepre overcame Espen Matisson earlier after Matisson looks dynamite, dynamite submitting Edwin Najmi. You see how he's winning the wrist grips? You see that? It, they both have grips, but he's got a cross lapel. He wins the wrist grips, and then he moves the guys. And right now, Lepre has a sleeve grip that's and a wrist grip, which is really not a lot when it comes to control with the gi. I think one thing that'll be sort of interesting here is if he can, I mean, no one has scored on Lepre in right. such a long I time. It, it, that I mean, like, if he can do that, I mean, I guess that's step one, right? Yep. But you're right, I'm impressed with the way that he's grip fighting here. I don't yes. remember this being a, a part of his game in past. I, I don't remember or it being, at least being like a strong suit. this strong and then, you know, to to be winning the gripping exchanges a majority of the time. And he doesn't, and, he, and earlier today, you know, these are exhausting battles on the feet and they, he didn't, didn't waver at all. His conditioning didn't waver. Malapri in there with that left hand, trying to get that cross collar, he does. And he has a very good Kuchigari on this right, on his, on the, with his right leg, Lepre does. Single. He actually had a pretty good grip of Lapri's leg. It's hard to say though because they, they go out of bounds. You don't know how much Lapri right. maybe lets off right. of the defense there as they realize that they're spilling out. Now circling. You know, if you want to beat somebody like Lucas Lepre, you have to take the fight to them. You cannot fight defensively, and that's exactly what Canudo's doing. Yeah. Not that I would expect any less. I mean, he's sort of known for bringing the fight to guys. Yeah, now Lepre has a little bit better gripping here. He's starting to get very nice grip, cross collar on the right hand. Pre has a grip over the top of the wrist. start to spill out once again here.
Canuto seems to be controlling the, the center of the mat. He's kind of defining where these fights are taking place. Mm -hmm. right. Nice little yeah. defense, though, by <laughs> Lucas Lippi. <laughs> now he's in, trying to knee slide. Yeah, Hernando Canuto, I, I mean, it was a brilliant idea. Yeah, I mean, now he he's might got, pay for it now, though. Yeah, he's got around the back here. Doing a great job of reshot. Just these reshots are fantastic. I think that's going to be two, Sean. I think so too. Advantage. Woo, that's a tough advantage. He earned it. A, he did earn it. Uh, some some brilliant. The <laughs> pre kind of looks over at his teammates like, what a, what's a guy got to do? Yeah, some brilliant uh, reshots in there. Knee sliding. The pre is a brilliant job to get in deep on the legs and just yep. continue nonstop. There it is. So they're, they're, now they're giving him two and they're actually they're assessing a penalty to Canuto. They're saying he fled the mat. Mm. I don't know that I agree with that though. I don't, yeah. I don't know that he purposely took him out of bounds. I've seen way more egregious um, uh, boundary fouls I suppose today than that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know how Canuto could have really defended that. He was kind of fighting for his life there for a minute. Yeah. I agree. But I like, I, I mean, coming back to the uh, uh, original uh, sacrifice throw that, that Canuto went for, I really like the idea. It just so happened that Lepre. <laughs> it's like I Superman. Mean, <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, it was like the second Canuto thought of it, Lepre yeah. saw it coming. Yeah, I just countered it so well and then got right on Canuto's legs. But, I mean, if history is any teacher to us, it's that. Lucas Lepre, a guy that hasn't been scored upon in years, now with a 2-0 lead, Canuto is really going to have to earn his stripes. Yeah, yeah. And oftentimes you'll see this, guys that where the, the grip fights lead them out of bounds a lot, you'll see one guy maybe get a little bit frustrated the fact they keep going out of bounds because maybe he's getting grips that he likes. I don't see that with Canuto. Um, mm -hmm. And he needs to make sure that that doesn't happen from the standpoint of you don't want to get frustrated with a guy with Lepre because he's going to take advantage of every little mistake that mm -hmm. you make. His jiu-jitsu is near perfect, and you can't leave open any opportunities for him to make things worse for you because it'll snowball quickly. Yep, you're right. He got in on the grips that he wants here. He's got the sleeve. Cross collar had a good grip on the sleeve. Four minutes left to go. Lepre, the lead 2 0 on the scoreboards. Canuto trying. Yeah, he's trying to drop down. now has the grips that he wants. Lepre with his own attempt here. <laughs> yeah, the big fight is on that sleeve side. And now Lepre has the sleeve. And the officials let him work there on the boundaries for a little while. The one thing about Canuto is you don't worry about him kind of get stuck in a pattern here. He's he's known for taking chances. He's known as a very creative jiu-jitsu practitioner. Mm -hmm. And so it will be interesting to see as time winds down here what he's got up his sleeve. Capri mm -hmm. in on the single leg here. Yeah, that was nice. Nice cartwheel out of that, Sumigeshi. He's got to rotate. These guys are making it fun for everybody, Yeah, absolutely. Sean. Nice then, Uchmaras Lepre on a good single. Canuto countering nicely. On the Sumageshi though, you gotta really rotate him over. He's gotta pull on that wrist hard. Here he goes again. See the yep. cartwheel is the counter, but. And Lepre whoa. finally gets him down. Canuto nearly on a triangle here, but now Lepre forcing Canuto to play some guard, and this may be Canuto's best chance now. He, he does have a 4-0 deficit, and he's gonna need 
some of that Canuto magic that he's yes. had in the past here. Oh, yeah. So, so <laughs> you talk about some display of technique right there. Counter Sumigeshi for Canudo, but cartwheel counter twice by Laprie. Just who planted his head in the mat. Yep. Didn't and cartwheeled off his neck. Yep. Yep. Canudo really didn't have the rotation. You got to rotate. You got to have that rotation that turns your opponent's back to the floor. Or the cartwheel counter is uh, a good one. And so now Canudo has arguably one of the greatest guard passers of all time yeah. in his guard. Yeah. And Lepre doesn't even need to pass the guard here. Nope. Canuto does have a very good guard and uh, obviously a very dangerous one too. Where Canuto is usually his most dangerous is in transition though. And so he, I almost wonder if he could, if he, if he isn't going to try to maybe get up to his feet, just playing guard here against Lepre. I don't know on its surface looks like a winning strategy to me. No, and and, and Lepre is literally like right here in his home. Yeah. This is you watch a Lepre match, you're gonna see him here every time, and so I I agree with you. I think he's got to have to. And the side judges want to award award assess a penalty to him. Mm -hmm. Not much of an award, I suppose. Yeah. But, but there's just not enough time. Yeah, there's just not enough time for, for Canuto to use that to his advantage, nope. really. He could get all four, like all three, and now still he's the, Now he's down. in the closed guard. And, and really, to be completely honest, Lepre can lock this thing down from yep. here if he wants to. Yep. Twenty-six seconds left. It's time to pull out all the stops. We'll see what Canudo can do. Working on a lapel, working both hands on the sleeve here. Yeah, that'll do it. Trying everything he can, but it's just not going to be enough against Lapri. In a valiant effort out of Renato Canuto, but it's hard to dethrone the champion, and Lucas Lepre is just so good, Sean. It's super good. Insanely good. The 2018 lightweight world champion, Lucas Lepre. Just like it was in 2017. Yep. Just like it was in 2016. One of this generation's greatest. Yep. So here's some action from this contest, and man, what a contest it was. Both guys just getting off on the feet. Pre trying to single. Mixed in snap downs, Gucci's crazy. There's a Tominagi, but look at that counter, and then watch this, boom, right on the legs. And then all this knee sliding, then finally gets that drive by the pre to get the two. Now he comes up on a single here. Look at these cartwheel counters there. Tries one counter, tries one sumigation, then he tries another. And there he goes, this cartwheel again. There it is, beautiful counter by Lepre and 